everyone, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Before you do anything else, go ahead and hit subscribe. Today we're going to talk about an artist who's very famous, actually. And if you can infer by what I'm wearing, this artist painted a lot of florals. And we're talking about none other than Vincent van Gogh, <laughs> who was born in the Netherlands on March 30th, uh, 1853. And he died at the age of 37 on July 29th, 1889. He was a post-impressionist painter. So now let's get straight into the video. My top 10 favorite Van Gogh paintings. Uh, in no particular order, but number one is Still Life Vase with 15 Sunflowers. Now, his plan with this set of paintings was to create a whole dozen to decorate his studio because a fellow artist was going to go visit him, which was Gauguin. So he wanted to decorate the room for him. Unfortunately, he only was able to create four, one of them which was destroyed in a fire. So there's only three of these sunflower paintings. Why he didn't do the other eight? Because he know. died? No, I yeah, just... Well, these were painted in 1888 and he died in 1889, so yeah, that might have been one. Oh! But, but, but Gauguin got there before that happened. Uh -huh. I mean, when Gauguin got there, he only had four paintings. Oh, okay, got it. And then number two is Skull of a Skeleton with Burning Cigarette Painting from 1885 to 1886, which I think it's one of his paintings that looks so different from the rest of his work because it's very, you know, dark in color and Van Gogh's choice of color were always very bright and things like that, and this was not the case. Uh, this one is now in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. I always wanted to go to Amsterdam. But number... <laughs> Hashtag. 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 Please somebody invite me. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is two crabs. Two crabs. <laughs> yeah, it's two red crabs. As you can see one of them is upside down. And this painting was painted in 1889. He painted this after his release from the hospital. And this particular painting was inspired by the Japanese artist, the Japanese printmaker, printmaker. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but it's Hakusai. The one who did the one of the waves. I'm sure you've seen it. No, we haven't. So put in a picture, please. <laughs> well, anyway, that is number three. And then number four is self-portrait with bandaged ear, painted in 1889. And this painting, I like because it obviously captures that moment that every, that Van Gogh is known for, which was cutting off his ear. Cray -cray. It's believed that he cut it because uh, Gauguin and him got in a fight and he later cut off his ear and then he gave it to a prostitute. Oh, gosh. So they say. <laughs> oh. And what a gift to get, right? Yeah, right? Don't ever fight with me. <laughs> <laughs> Number five is Bedroom in Arles, painted in 1888. I love this one. Yeah, but you know, did you know there were three different versions? No. Yeah, he did three different ones. One in 1888, two and three in 1889. The color on the second one has a little bit more teal. And then the third one, some of the paintings that are on the background of mm -hmm. the bedroom are a little bit different. Oh. Also, the artist Roy Lichtenstein created his own version of the bedroom. Which I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then number six, Van Gogh. Self-portrait. This was, was paint. This one was painted in 1889. And in a previous video, I had said that Frida Kahlo was a selfie queen, but I forgot that Van Gogh came before Frida, and Van Gogh actually painted a total of 40 self-portraits. Wow. But this one right here is said to believe the last one. Uh, and if you look, he looks. You know, the look in his face is very intriguing, almost like he's ready to eat this place. It looks very sad, <laughs> very somber. I don't know, I just, I like the monochromatic feel that this painting has and then the way his, his look on his face. Number seven, Cafe Terrace at Night. This painting is uh, one of his paintings that's not signed, but they know that it's his because of the letters that he wrote to his brother. Theo. And I even have um, my sketchbook has this on its cover. So this painting is basically a night out in the cafe that he frequented when he lived in Arles, I believe. I think that's where that's from. Number eight, Night Cafe, painted in 1888. And this painting is actually owned by the University of Yale. But what I like about this painting is that if you see the way the light is shining, it's almost mimicking the stars in the painting Starry Night which I don't know if it's on this list or not. Ah, oh, <laughs> it better be. Uh, and number nine is portrait of Dr. Number nine, portrait of Dr. Gadget or Gachet. I don't know what how to pronounce his last name. But anyway, he took care of Vincent the last kind of one or two months after he, before he died. And he actually painted him twice. And Maybe was, he healed him. <laughs> maybe he did. 
Well, you know what? There actually is a theory that Van Gogh was actually uh, killed by someone else, not by himself, because they never found a gun. Really? Yeah, yeah. But we don't so how that. can you kill yourself? There's no gun. I don't know. They said that there was... You know how he wasn't all there? There was a, people who kind of like mocked him and gave him a hard time. So maybe one of those persons did that. So the thing here is don't mock people just because they're different. We're all different. You're different. I'm different. And we are no better than the other. There you go. But anyway, that one was painted in 1890. Uh, and the last one, which is by far, actually this is probably my f favorite Van Gogh painting, which is The Starry Night, which is located in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Which like, we saw. Yeah, the, when I saw it, like I actually like got emotional and kind of like got teary eyed. It's just so, it's so interesting to study a painting for so many years and then when you finally get to see it, it, it was just a very significant moment for me. I myself. thought it was gonna be bigger, to tell you the truth. Uh, because I had done so much research on it, I kinda I was expecting the size to be the size that it was. What I wasn't expecting was to see the canvas through the some of the layers of the paint. Like, it, the paint is not consistent throughout. In some parts you can see the, the canvas. Wow. But anyway, I think it's, a, it's one of his best works. Well, anyway, this was the top 10 Van Gogh paintings. Let me know if your favorite was on here or if it wasn't. And please share, subscribe, leave your comments below. And stay tuned and watch all the other content on my channel. Wednesday and Saturdays. Wednesday and Saturdays, I will be here. So tune in. Adios y bye.